Hey guys, welcome back. It's Geek Life with Lexi, and I just wanted to keep you updated uh, today. Um, I was out delivering for Grubhub tonight, and my first stop was the Taco Bell, a local Taco Bell. And when I got there, I thought it was kind of interesting. Um, I thought it was kind of weird actually because there was a police officer guarding the door. And um, I tried to open the door even though I saw him inside looking out. And um, I said, I'm, I'm here for Grubhub. He opened the door and I said, I'm here for Grubhub. And he said, oh, he said, no. He said, we're closed. Everything's closed down. He said, you have to go through the drive-thru. And I said, oh, okay, thanks. <laughs> so I went through the drive-thru and um, I thought it was kind of odd because there was a cop. Unless they had a problem there, I don't know. But anyway, um, this video is uh, briefly about um, California. Um, well, let me just read this article article to you. It's uh, California issues stay-at-home orders coronavirus. So basically, Californians may only leave their home to get food and essential supplies and services effective immediately tonight until further notice. Newsom, this is Governor Newsom now, Newsom estimates that 25.5 million Californians will be infected over an eight-week period. Um, let's see, all Californians are under a stay-at-home order due to concerns about the new coronavirus. Governor Gavin Newsom announced this Thursday evening, which is tonight, the news came minutes after Los Angeles County announced plans for similar restrictions. Okay. Shelter-in-place orders were issued across six Bay Area counties Monday, soon after Santa Barbara, uh, Santa Cruz, Monterey, and Solano, Napa, and Sonoma counties followed suit. This is not a permanent, this, this is what he says, this is not a permanent state. This is a moment in time, Newsom said. We will meet this moment together and we will look back at these kinds of decisions as pivotal, pivotal, sorry, pivotal decisions. Tongue twister there. The order goes into effect immediately and is in place until further notice. Californians may still leave their homes to obtain essential goods and services. Restaurants may, now here's the important part. Restaurants may still serve takeout and delivery, though in-person dining is not permissible. So guys, if you're doing food delivery, that's a good thing, okay? So don't be discouraged. Um, if you're one of those that does Uber and Lyft and food delivery, hop back on the food delivery because you can still do this. Um, I've also seen commercials on television that had said, um, they were actually DoorDash commercials, but they said order, you know, it was California local channel and it, it was encouraging you to order uh, takeout due to the coronavirus. So good thing so far. Um, yeah, we still have jobs that way. So far, so good. Um, gro okay, so let me finish this article before I get sidetracked here. It says grocery stores, pharmacies, markets, farmers markets, food banks, gas stations, banks, and laundromats are among the essential, essential services that may continue operating under this order. Workers in fields such as healthcare, food and agriculture, government communications are among the critical workers who may continue to work according to the order. Anyone who does leave their home should practice social distancing, distancing, which you already know anyway, and stay six feet away from others. Like I said, we already knew that. Uh, bars, nightclubs, Gyms, public gatherings, convention centers are among the facilities that must close according to the state. The healthcare system will prior prioritize the sickest people according to the order. Resources such as protective gear will be prioritized for providers treating sick people. Okay, so basically let the um, you know, the healthcare workers get out of the way, let the ambulances and fire trucks go through, pull over, you know, just let these guys do their job. 
Um, our goal is simple. The order reads, we want to bend the curve and disrupt the spread of the virus. Newsom said he anticipates Californians will follow the order on their own accord. 500 National Guard leaders are helping distribute food strictly for humanitarian purposes, Newsom said. The governor said Tuesday that National Guard troops are on alert and should be prepared to ensure resiliency of supply lines and support public safety as required. Earlier Thursday, news outlets reported Newsom said in a letter to President Donald J. Trump that 50% of the state's population could become infected. Uh, this is the sad part. 50 per six, I'm sorry, 50, it's been a long day. 56% of the state's population could become infected with the new coronavirus within the span of two months. The letter also requested that USNS Mercy Hospital ship be stationed at the port of LA, Los Angeles through September 1st. Okay, so guys, I will keep you updated as to any changes. I did call Grubhub tonight after my shift was over, asking them a few questions about this, and they basically told me what I thought they would tell me, and that was basically, um, if you feel comfortable driving, then fine. If not, you don't have to drive. <laughs> a lot of good that did, right? Um, that didn't surprise me, but um, if you, oh, if you do use the gloves, make sure, a little tip for you, make sure that you do put that antibacterial gel on your gloves as well, um, since it is true that the virus can uh, live on your gloves, okay, especially if you're not throwing them away every few minutes and you're keeping them on to drive or whatever, um, you want to put that antibacterial gel on your gloves. But the gloves do help, um, you know, they do help you know, from, you know, they, they kind of, for me anyway, they are a reminder to not touch my face, my eyes, especially having allergies. If you tend to scratch your eyes, itch, touch your face, whatever, um, they are a good thing. And also for opening the door handles, um, restaurants, you know, how germy they are. And also how germy the, um, you know, you're, you're transferring those germs um, to your um, car door handle and also to the bag as well. So, um, yeah, so that's basically it. And let's see if there was anything else I wanted to tell you. Um, okay, so the hand sanitizer is important. And um, having said that, basically, just don't panic. It's not martial law, as I heard on Pete's channel earlier. Um, it's just a way of keeping germs at bay for right now, since it is a, a critical thing that we're going through right now. Um, in the next few weeks, there'll be more outbreaks. So that's why they're doing this. Um, just don't panic. Uh, let me know what you think of this in the comment section below. Hit like and subscribe if you find this information helpful. And uh, that's it, guys. I will see you on the next video. Thanks for tuning in. Take care. I love you all. All right, guys. Take care. Bye.